What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by the Dream himself. Boom! And we are gonna show <laughs> and we are gonna show you guys some ab workouts. I'm getting a lot of requests on my channel for ab routines and what I do for abs. And uh, I figured, hey, what better way than to get my boy and uh, show you guys a few things. So this is basically, we're gonna go through a bunch of different ab exercises that we go through. Now, I usually don't do a specific ab day, right? I never really come in and just do abs. I usually add it on to like a chest day or a back day, whenever. But um, I'll usually throw three to four of these exercises on top of a workout already. But we're gonna go through, you'll probably do like six, seven, eight different exercises, show you how we do them. <laughs> Nate just gave me the Look, yeah. <laughs> six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're gonna hit these, and then um, hopefully you guys can take something away from it and start throwing these into your workouts if you're trying to get a chiseled six pack. <laughs> chiseled six pack, is that the right word? If you're trying to get a strong core, because keep in mind, full disclaimer, abs are made in the kitchen, not the gym. You cannot work a bad diet. So that's the thing, right? If you want abs, I know that I did crunches on crunches on crunches and tried all these different workouts because I wanted a six pack, but I never really got abs until I washed what I ate and died. Dieted because it's all a matter of body fat percentage. If you're wondering why I'm bouncing to, I'm on a medicine ball right now. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, enough of me rambling, rambling, rem. We're gonna go ahead and show you some of these core exercises to help you build that way. When you cut, you can see what you're working with. Bingo. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right, guys, starting off our ab routine here, we got ourselves an ab wheel. So check this thing out. Let me give you a good view of this. Basically, it's got two hands. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nate like should I be like a the prices right. <laughs> 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 yeah, <they're all> <laughs> yeah, hand model, <laughs> hand model Nate over here. <laughs> there you go. Man, on fleek, those nails though. Okay, so we got ourselves an ab wheel. Basically, it's a wheel with some handles on it. Now, let's show them what we're gonna do for these. Now, keep in mind, not now some of these exercises, might be a little more advanced. We'll do some beginner ones too. Some of these might be more advanced. If you weigh a little bit more, you're not quite there with core strength. You know, some of these might not apply, but I always recommend give them a good shot. You'll know almost immediately if you can do them or not. So we also got a little pad here for the knees because this stuff can hurt, man. Yeah. All right, so let's check it out. Ow. Ooh, look at that. That hurts just watching, man. <laughs> so yeah, full extension out and then back. These are great for the overall, just building your the entirety of your core. Where do you feel this the most at, man? The whole, the whole, whole thing, thing, right? It's like up here, yep. like you start out at your upper abs. Yep. But when, then once you stretch out. Yep. Ooh, yeah, it's yep. gonna pull down. Nice, down in here. whole thing. So you're getting lower abs, upper abs, and you're working your stabilizers, obliques, a little bit of everything. So nice exercise here, guys. Exercise number one, usually recommend uh, ab exercises are a little different. I don't normally do them of sets of 10 to 12 like I would something else. Typically with abs, I'll just do them until they burn. So that can be 20 sometimes, that can be 30. It just depends, really. Abs are one of those things you can kind of work almost every single day, just about. I do recommend rest days, but you can work your abs almost all the time because it's one of those muscles that recovers extremely fast because you use it almost every day without even thinking about it. So anyways, give these a shot, guys. See you at the next exercise. Get it, brother. All right, guys, next ab exercise. By the way, those ab wheels are killer. I just uh, did them. Woo! Um, next exercise we're gonna do, this one can be done anywhere, right? You can do this at home. That's another thing, if your gym time is limited, some of these exercises you can do at home. You can get yourself an ab wheel, medicine ball, some of these you're gonna be able to do in the comfort of your own home. So this is a typical plank. Almost everybody should have probably heard about a plank sometime or another, but uh, some people tend to do them wrong. I'm gonna show you how I like to do a plank. Basically, when I come down, and you get yourself on a flat surface. I like to stretch my body out as far as I can. I know some people that kind of, eh, that ain't a plank. You want to make sure you're getting basically like in a push-up position, except I like to put, uh, plant both my arms like this down on my elbows, stretch all the way out, and then straighten my back. And then uh, the thing with these, to know if they're working, you should really be able to feel it like in your belly button and lower abs. And that's the thing I always recommend, like a good way to, to do it is to make it, you wanna to try to feel your belly button through your lower back. That's gonna sound weird, but that is how you know these are working. Because if your back's arched, you're not stabilizing your core the way you should. So you're gonna hit this, and you wanna hold it for probably 30, 45 seconds, 60 seconds, however long you can, and you will really feel it all throughout your entire core. Stay tight, you can see it too when you get to the side right there. How, there you go. See if I can get in there. Yeah, it's dark, but they get the point. 
So yeah, you'll know if you're doing them right because in about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, you really start feeling it. So good exercise there, typically three sets of that, four sets of that for as long as you can. You might start your first one off at 60 seconds, your third might only be 20, but as long as it burns and it hurts, it's working. All right, guys, for the next set, having fun there, big dog? <laughs> for the next set, what we're doing, you're going to need a medicine ball. Now, this is more of a beginner exercise. It's still advanced. You're still going to feel it. You're still going to be good. But this is one that I recommend you try. Get yourself a medicine ball. Big old boy. Get yourself up against a wall here. It's going to help you kind of stabilize yourself. Right. So you don't roll. So you don't roll? Yep. Give him a rundown, big dog. Uh, just like when you go back, I mean, depending on how strong your core is going to be. Right. You can, it, it enables you to lean like overextend I guess you know right and stretch but you're still gonna have to remain tight because you know you got to get back up right and then, boom yep, just come back up and squeeze boom squeeze at the top yep. nice this is another one of those like I said guys invest in a medicine ball you can buy a lot of this stuff online heck Walmart yeah they're super cheap yeah and they're super cheap get one heck do this up against the wall at your house do that some planks some ab wheels Man, you got yourself a 30 minute at or 30 minute at workout. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are those ones they always try to sell you? Like seven minute abs? Yeah. Seven minute abs by Remington James. <laughs> and Nathan. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Where do I sign? So yeah, give these a shot too, guys. Another great exercise here. Easy, just basically another variation on your standard setup, but you're working more your stabilizers and stuff, having this ball here to kind of balance yourself with. So on to the next one. All right, guys, here we are. Another workout you can do at home. Go ahead, see how he's got his legs raised here and he's just lying on the ground. You can lay here and just keep your legs elevated. Same thing as a plank in that you're just gonna hold this position for 30, 45, 60 seconds. But this really targets your stabilizers, really works your lower abs and kind of tightens the overall uh, overall core. Giving you a good workout. You look like a dead fish. Yeah, that's what I feel like. <laughs> that's what you feel like. How are those feeling? Pretty good, I'm getting kind of tired. And then what you can do is once you get tired, you can transition, make it a superset, which I like to do, and go ahead and flutter kicks. Bingo. This is a good way to end it and to burn out your abs, right? Doesn't that feel good? And like what I'll usually do, if you have a bench, an elevated bench, I like to do these because you can get more of a kick, but uh, this works just as well. So another exercise you can do at home, man. We're just giving these people all of our secrets. That's what it's about. Yeah, it's what it's all about. That's why, <sighs> uh, uh, you know, I've had people tell me before, like, why do you give out so much free information on your channel? And honestly, if I can help somebody, like, oh, like if people want to pay me to help them, more, like, I, I love that, I appreciate it, it helps me live my dream, helps right. support me, but I will never not, I will never hold back a piece of information because well, I feel it's, like it's I want to. It's like giving back. Exactly. You because, know, like, obviously we're not, like, professionals when it comes to this type of stuff, but, like, we all started somewhere. We all did. And there was, like, the big guy in the gym, you know, and you're like, man, I want to know what he does. Exactly. So then you finally, like, gain the courage, like, hey, what? What do you do for this? And then he tells you. And then right. you go and tell your buddies. And yeah. Then, you know, so. Knowledge yeah. is power, Absolutely. right? And some people, I think, just teaching people how easy all of this stuff is. I mean, man, if, if I can change someone's life for the better, I feel oh, like man. I did something. Absolutely. So we're doing big things here, big dog. Absolutely. On to the next one. All right, guys. I know I've shown you guys this exercise before, but I'm going to go ahead and show you again because it's an ad video and some of you might not have seen it before. A couple different things here, right? So this is going to be more of an advanced workout. You obviously have to be able to support your weight. You just need like a pull-up bar or something along these lines. You can do wide grip like this or in grip. It just depends on kind of what I'm doing at the time. Um, first, though, hanging leg raises, right? So I'll grab these. You can do just quick little pull yourself out and then... Kind of just bring your knees up to your chest. There's different variations of that you can do. You can do the knees to the chest, you can do your legs straight out, Woo! which is a little harder because it works your stabilizers, uh, keeping your body straight like that. But um, there's those two. And then now if you really, I would call this an advanced movement. Not everybody can do these. It took me a while, um, I don't wanna say a while, but I didn't do these at first and I really had to practice them. And it's one of those things too, so sometimes you'll do something and you start doing it and like, you might be embarrassed because you're gonna do like two or three of them, right? But you gotta practice. Practice makes perfect without that resistance, without that practice. No one was ever good at anything the first time they did it. So let me show you these. And like I said, I had to practice with these to get decent at them. I haven't done them in a little bit, but basically grab up here and then stabilize. Toes all the way to the bar. There you go. Ah, those are one of the best Ab exercises you can do, but not everybody's able to do those. So work up to that. If you gotta do the hanging knee raises and then work to the straight leg outs, then work to touching your toes to the bar. You gotta do what you gotta do, but uh, those are great. 
And then Nate actually just had a good point. These are called windshield wipers. That's so what that's what he called them at least. Windshield wipers. Oh boy. Or the by Felicia's. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Let's see it. another advanced movement, by the way. So legs out, look at this. And then, oh, dude, I'm watching that. That looks like it hurts. Woo, those are for the obliques. You can see them on the sides there, working. Look at that, jeez. I feel like that's how you should enter any fight you get into. Just grab something to hold up. <laughs> right, yeah, another advanced movement, but just giving you guys some options. All right, guys, another movement I've probably shown you before, but uh, hey, we're gonna go ahead and do it anyways. This is a, what would you even call this thing here? I don't even know what oh, no, it's but, uh, but you guys should recognize that you should have one at your gym. Um, basically, it just supports your weight, right? So I can just kinda sit here, da -da -da. So if you can't hang on like a bar like that and do the leg raises or knee raises or whatever, you can support yourself and then boom, do them like this. Now this is one of those ones, I find this these pretty easy to do, but it's also very effective. So I do them probably, almost every ab workout. It's easy to just hop up here and you know, hit it. And it's the same thing, do them this way, legs out, so, ooh, these right here, flutter kicks. You can switch to the side and do oblique raises to really bring in ah, the side of your abs. Lots of options here guys, so another good one. All right guys, bringing you another ab movement. How are your abs feeling by the way? I am toasty. Yeah, they're pretty tight. I am toasty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what we do for these people, right? What we yeah. do for these people. All right, so got ourselves a little decline thing here. It's actually attached to that machine I was just on. Got ourselves a little decline uh, bench here with a leg rest, leg support. Leg support. <laughs> leg support. <laughs> Thanks for the support. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so basically, most gyms should have this, by the way, but just decline crunches. Pretty simple. Let's give them a show, big dog. Down, up, down. Up, pretty beginner movement here, pretty basic. Almost everybody should be able to do these. If you can only do like five, six, seven at first, don't fret, your core will get stronger and you get better as you do them. Five, five right? he's, down, he's out, he's down for the count. 911, emergency. Also, if you wanna, you can add weight. Add uh, weight, exactly. If you wanted to hold a Grab plate. a plate, yeah, exactly. So as you move through it, if you can do, you know, 30, 40 of these bad boys, you're not really feeling it, add some resistance, add some weight, thicken up that core. Nice, good job, big dog. Yes, now this might be an ab exercise you've never seen before. I personally love these. I had someone show, show these to me like a year ago, and since then I've been hitting them a lot. But basically you're gonna need a lat pull down machine, right? Any cable machine will work, I guess, but I like to do it on lat pull down machines. I think there tends to be, uh, they're a little higher up, and I just like the way it stabilizes me a little better. But I just take my grip, put it right here narrow, I pull it down, and then you wanna lock in your back, your arms. You don't wanna move any of this. You want this to be strictly a core exercise. So right here. And then, actually, you know what? Uh-oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's gotta, game time. I gotta do this or it'll uh, hit me. So, <laughs> grab it, stabilize, and then. These, you have to like really focus on form, but great way to build form. And... I have to say, I've never seen these done before. Dude, I love these. Never love seen these, these done. Ah. Great. Okay. Seal? Seal great? Seal great? Yeah. Oh, okay. Double seal great. <laughs> so yeah, give these a shot. By the way, if you do any of these exercises, comment below. Let me know what you think of these, especially this one. This is my pride and joy right here. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go for the final ab exercise we're gonna do. These are cable crunches. What you need to do is get yourself either a rope or a uh, tricep rope, whichever one, as long as you can put your grip like that. And then you're going to see how he is straightened out Bingo, going down, works your core very well. Make nice. You, like when you're up. When you're up? When, once you go down, um, that's when you wanna exhale. Let okay. all your breath out. Okay, so yeah. breathing. So yeah. you're saying exhale on your way up and inhale on your way down. Right. Nice. And when you come up, you, if you stretch like this, like fully extend up, it'll right. help to like. Get that full stretch in right, there. Right, yeah, and you'll feel it in your abs. I feel it. So down and up, and see how he kind of places the rope and it moves his head in behind it as he goes down. But he's also, it's easy on some of these to use your arms and use your back and stuff, but really you wanna make sure you're focusing on working your abdominals, cause that's what these exercises are meant for. So 
It's one of those things though, you might start off, you might not have the best form ever, but it's one of those deals, like I said, the more you do something, the better you get at it. That mind-muscle connection does not develop overnight. It requires building those muscles, working those muscles, knowing what it feels like when they fatigue properly, and you know, adding on to it, man. You start, you start, you start with a little house, two-bedroom house, and you start building on to it. Additions, got to add the porch on, the two-car garage. You know what I mean? Only have one car. <laughs> Only have one. Car. See? <laughs> and then eventually a swimming pool. Oh, oh yeah. Absolutely. There we go. <laughs> Good workout, big dog. Yes, sir. Woo! Ugh. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. This has been one heck of a little ab workout. My abs are on fire. What you working with, big dog? Let's see it. Oh. We're both a little fluffy right That's now. The, uh, iPhone 6S Plus. <laughs> Shout out to Apple. Shout out to Apple. Give me this for free. And not me. <laughs> We're giving a. No, nah, 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 I'm trying to get out of this. Actually. Right. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, we're both we're both not as lean as we'd like to be right now, but. Right, man. We're getting there. We're getting va we're getting vacation ready. That's the thing. Everybody thinks you just do all these ab workouts, you're going to be shredded, but it's nah. all it's all diet, yeah, man. Yeah, it is. I've been eating one too many pizzas, but. Hey, yeah. that's real though. Right. We could choose to not show our abs off and be like, you know. Right, yeah, I mean, I don't like, I've been super lean, 5% body fat, you know? Right. And now I'm at whatever, I don't know what I am. You're but, pro pro but probably 13, 14. Yeah, right, I'm happy, you know? And I feel good just about finding your happy place, you know? It is, like, man. Where you can go eat food that you want, keep your diet fairly clean, you know, and just right. work hard in here. And Cause I, I kind of touched on this with Troy the other day, but there's a, being that lean's not very fun. It's miserable. No, yeah, it's, it's miserable. It's, yeah, it's hard because because yeah, your body's starving right. and your body's telling you at every ch every chance it can, it tries to tell you eat some food, right. man. Right. Eat some food. And not but, good food. And not good <laughs> food. But uh, there, there's a fine line between you can have yourself a nice little set of abs, you can be strong in the gym, you know, and your nutrition doesn't have to be a hundred percent on point. Right. So, anyways, giving the people a good show here. What am I working with? Let's see. Hold up. Hold up. After that ab workout. Oh, a little watery. A little watery. Yeah, they are. Anyways, guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the ab content. I know we've been getting a lot of requests for an ab workout on the channel. So I figured invite the boy in and we would hit Always it hard. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure, Always big a dog. Pleasure. So anyways, guys, uh, once again, I'm gonna tag Nate's info in the description box below, all of his social media. Give the dude a follow if you want some motivation and you wanna see, uh, look back through some of his older pictures, man, of how lean this dude was. When you were show ready, yeah. That was, uh, that was fun. That was that fun, man. Yeah, right? Yeah, me too. We need to, we, we both need to get back there. Yeah, we, need another one of these we, have, we have a few weeks. We have a few weeks, yeah, before vacation. Yeah. So anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And don't forget, don't forget to smile, smile remain positive, and pay someone a compliment, because you never know whose day you'll be making better. <laughs> With that, we are out of here. This has been Remington James Production. I will see you guys at the next episode. Peace. Peace. <laughs>